Good morning, everyone. Welcome to those asking eight minutes. Why bother? Well, th this is the time that I have. I'm working up until we start this. You get that, right? I wake up at 530 and I begin working. And in the limited period of time I have where I'm able to broadcast, I go live. So we will have a little bit of news for you. I wish it could be more time too, but I'm rock, hard place, and me right in the middle. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But anyway, welcome everyone. Uh, I saw a request for good news. Um, let's see. Is this good news? We're seeing preview shots of an upcoming film titled Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. It is a horror retelling of the classic Winnie the Pooh tale. And you can see some shots here. Oh God, that's Piglet. Piglet is looking at a woman in a jacuzzi, or maybe she's becoming soup. I don't know, this looks pretty dark. So this is what happens when uh, classic works like Winnie the Pooh enter the public domain. You can then go crazy with it if you want. Uh, as soon as I saw this, I thought, well, if they can do that with Winnie the Pooh, what else has entered the public domain? And so I did look it up and, um, no, I don't think anyone wants Faust or whatever <laughs> into something like this, but I am going to have my eyes, you know, like cast forward next year, the year after that. Is any big stuff entering into the public domain? Uh, yeah, you can see JR in the background. Uh, but anyway, look forward to Winnie the Pooh. It'll be coming out uh, fairly soon. Uh, good news if you're sleepy, I suppose. So people working at Panera have cast uh, a bit of a spotlight on a fact about one of their drinks, the charged lemonade. I had not been familiar with this. A large charged lemonade has 388 milligrams of caffeine. I think a cup of coffee has like 50? Jeez. That's like the limit of what the FDA says. Like, come on guys, I know this is America and we put a lot of crazy stuff in our bodies, but don't go more than that. They say four to five cups of coffee is okay. That's one lemonade. Do people even think of it as being caffeinated? Now look, granted, I'm a guy who drinks you know, Monster or whatever. Monster has 30% less caffeine per ounce than the charged lemonade. And generally when you drink a Monster, you don't drink 30 ounces of it. Absolute madness. Also, there's a little bit of bad news on COVID, but you know what? I'm not gonna make you pay attention to that. We're down to a little bit of time. So I wanna do a little bit of catch up. There's a great uh, Abu Ghazal cat uh, put together this awesome mashup of everything Fox is trying to push to get you to not realize the indisputable solution. The problem with these school shootings is not making it possible for these people to have these guns. Here are the different things that they have suggested. I advocate always for an armed security guard, armed school safety officer, armed uh, deputy, arming teachers. They have those things, by the way. And prepare and train uh, teachers and other administrators. Armed school like staff. Like the principal? Bring in policemen. Training uh, the students themselves. Retired They're already military, trained. Retired law enforcement. We can offer them tax breaks. If you give law enforcement the opportunity to impose martial law, we can guarantee safety and security. Securing that perimeter. Martial law? Provide kind of a ring of steel. You have the fences, you have the main administration building, and then you have wide gaps on either side. The fencing's not very high. Where the what? doors lock. What? Bulletproof glass. Why would a higher fence matter? Happen. At the same time that we see religion and Christian values and, and Judeo-Christian values declining. Anybody who decides that they want to do something like this should immediately know that attacking a school is a death sentence for them. Kids they are afraid all they know they're going to die. They, they, they know that. They always stop, die. Um, letting these schools be gun-free zones. People need to put their phones down and get to know the person next to them. We have spent billions of dollars on COVID-related measures for our schools. Let's take some of that money and divert it over to hardening these soft targets. A lot of these private schools, they take security 
way more serious. Parents, take your children to church. This anti-police narrative is forcing people not to call police. A series of interlocking doors at the school entrance. Interlocking doors. Triggered by a tripwire, and it traps the shooter like a rat. God is the answer to that. There's a moral rot going on that we all need to dig in and try to address. I vote for decreasing social media exposure. We need to start focusing on mental health. Tell us why you think it's important to pray in a moment like this. It Dear calls God. for faith and prayer. Why is it that schools are protected in the same way that airports? There are some people it's who true. don't want- It's no true. Uh, no one had prayed before. Schools with no one had prayed to stop because this. Because other people are triggered. Uh, assault rifle and enhanced body armor. A notification system to let everybody in the school know what's happening. I think the gunfire does that. I'm talking about this stuff as it happens because I don't think it contributes anything positive. Don't talk about it after. Uh, for raising their children properly. Ballistic blankets. We just don't have the resources to get law enforcement there quickly. How about oh an my executive God. order for these mental health facilities? We have to start rebuilding this country and returning to God. I, I arm myself everywhere I legally can. It's up to you to protect yourself. Jesus. First of all, uh, many of those... They already have. They already did. There's armed people all over in this particular case. They have the blankets. They've done the training. The the prayer. I I feel I feel like I feel like we've prayed. I feel like we've prayed um, in advance of some of these. Again, not a single. This is a challenge. I'm gonna tweet this in a second. It's a challenge to right wingers. I want you to say either in writing or film yourself saying, "I wish he hadn't been able to get a deadly weapon like this." It is. In, like, you, you cannot even pretend that you take this seriously, that you consider it horrific, any of this, if you can't say that. And they obviously know that they have a moral imperative to say that, but saying it implies that we then have some sort of imperative to make that the case in the future, to make it harder to get these deadly weapons. All of it, they'll do the tripwires, they'll do the moats, they'll do the higher fence. What is the higher fence gonna do? Uh, all of this. By the way, they they reduced the, the training requirement on getting guns there. They took away funding from mental health in that specific state. And Texas has rarely like been low on prayer. None of this, none of this will stop the next shooting from happening, uh, both because it's nonsensical and also because they, they don't, it's not intended to. It is intended to get Fox News and its viewers from now to when we don't have to talk about this anymore. Briefly, it's an interlude because another shooting will happen, but just get them from here to there without anything happening that, that makes them feel uncomfortable or inconvenienced. Anyway, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for our pre-show today. Uh, apologies when they're short, they are, when they are short, they are necessarily short. So apologies for that. But the watch list is coming up right now. You can go to twitch.tv slash TYT. And uh, you can uh, go to youtube.com slash watchlisttyt. I'll be going live after that, so I hope to see you then for more news.